Natural resources may expire, but our ideas have no boundaries. Our mission is developing new productive technologies for search, retrieval, and use of resources in extreme conditions for human activity. The ocean, Arctic, and space. Nearly three quarters of the planet are covered by oceans, and they represent storage of natural resources which are difficult to explore. One tenth of the ocean's bed is ore deposits. Offshore line of the ocean is a source of diamonds, gold, platinum, and amber. Among mineral resources are phosphorites and ferromanganese concretions. Coal and sulfur are mined on the shelf. Half of the world's petroleum reserves are concentrated in the ocean. Tomes Polytechnic University scientists are developing a multi-purpose software and hardware complex for 3D high-resolution investigation and modeling of a seabed for surveying various types of mineral resources and performing geophysical explorations. The complex performs seabed patrol, that is, exploration and seabed topography. TPU scientists also develop smart equipment for a new generation of autonomous, unmanned underwater vehicles. Such equipment includes a hydroacoustic modem that is capable of transmitting information over long distances, sensors of pressure and temperature suitable for operation at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, and other ad advanced equipment. Electronic robot brains developed by TPU scientists allow for the gathering and processing of large volumes of information over a short period of time. About 15% of the ocean area is covered by ice. Research of the Arctic has become one of the top priority tasks of the state. We do not only train world-class specialists in offshore gas development, we are also directly involved in the research of the natural wealth of the far north. This is where 91% of total natural gas recovery is concentrated. TPU scientific staff and renowned explorers of the Arctic study the Arctic shelf as a source of greenhouse gases of global importance. The gas hydrate reserves underneath the subsea permafrost are estimated at about 2 billion tons. Drilling is necessary to evaluate the real methane potential. If the subsea permafrost continues to degrade, we may expect a massive methane outburst, which may have a direct, catastrophic effect on the climate. One cannot develop the Arctic without new materials capable of withstanding extreme conditions. TPU staff has created a group of plastic-based construction materials used in different industries, including carbon fiber reinforced plastic. This is an advanced, super hard and light material made of a carbon fiber and polymers. It is widely used for fabricating parts and as a substitute for metal. A thermally reactive polymer is indispensable at extremely low temperatures and is used in air and spacecraft construction. Any malfunction in space requires prompt decision making. Here is when a multi-purpose tomographic complex may come in handy, which incorporates the immense experience of TPU scientists in the development of all non-destructive testing methods. The unique tomograph will make it possible to use radiation, ultrasound, electromagnetic, and thermal methods of fault detection in many industries, and primarily the space industry. TPU scientists are also developing technologies and equipment for granular 3D printing with oriented fibers under conditions of zero gravity. In particular, the 3D printer under TPU development is going to be used in orbit for creating tools and spare parts for the needs of the International Space Station. What cannot be replaced right in space must have a multiple safety margin. These are, for example, viewport coatings and satellite protection materials. These are unique plates and films that protect spacecraft parts from the detrimental effects of solar radiation. It was TPU scientists who invented and manufactured both the plates themselves and the production unit, and are constantly working to improve them. Several units have already been manufactured by an order of the Russian Federal Space Agency. All this is created by man for the sake of pushing civilization forward. But man also needs some technologies and resources. This is what helped extend the average life expectancy. A group of Thomas Polytechnic University researchers present a project of biocompatible coatings for implants. Pins and stents used in different areas of medicine, in particular in bone prosthetics and cardiology. 
scientists are working on the technology of stent coating to avoid implant rejection. Engineers rally to help doctors and diagnostics as well. TPU nuclear physicists were the first in the world to invent a zero-waste production technology with the most highly demanded diagnostic products, technetium-99, iodine-123, and thallium-199, which are currently supplied to 25 national clinics. These products enable doctors to expose diseases in oncology, cardiology, and other spheres of medicine. The universe has created resources and we create technologies. Tomsk Polytechnic University is a university of resource-efficient technologies.